Well, good afternoon. Look, I think a couple of things. We've seen a really strong run-up since the best part of, you know, just after Christmas. Uh, whilst uh, some of the other precious metals have gone sideways, gold has performed incredibly well over that period. And I think that that, uh, that won't surprise many, many pundits that probably realise that there's more upside yet. It could snap 1300 in the in the foreseeable future, I'd say sometime this month, which isn't a really brave call. But I, I think it's onward and upward, um, probably hold something, you know, between say 1250 to $1,400 range. Uh, we need to see more idea as far as those unemployment numbers and the turnaround of the US to really give us some faith that, you know, uh, we're going to see gold edge lower. But at the present time, I think there's more upside yet. Well, it's not unusual this time of year you see you know, growing consumption as far as the jewellery sector due to Chinese New Year and, of course, uh, Indian um, festive seasons commencing not that you know, not far away either. The next part of the journey is, of course, that with those markets, uh, gold is quite a good buying level in that $1,200 to $1,300 range compared to what you had to pay a couple of years back, you know, all the way through to $1,700 to $1,900. So uh, now's the time to be buying. Wonderful, um, as I mentioned, wonderful opportunities. And there's, uh, I think, a favourable time to be in that market considering, you know, the best part of, say, 4 billion plus people in the world look at gold as a store of value from India and the Pakistans through to the Middle East, of course, and then that's working west and then working east through to China and, of course, through that whole Asia belt. Well, I've seen silver markets sit pretty flat for the last, you know, two to three months. It really has done nothing since November. It's been range bound, a little bit of whipsaw action, but it's pretty tight as far as that range. Wonderful market that was great to short over the, you know, the previous eight to ten months. Uh, very, very wonderful trade. Uh, trades like that don't happen too often, but when they do, they're just, you know, showstoppers. Uh, gold market has been very easy to trade over the last, you know, six to seven weeks, and I think that'll continue. Though, let's just wait and see what happens from a demand picture as far as silver's concerned, and we might just see a little bit more movement to the upside.